What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Umber and Hemi Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of this week's Fan Mail of the Week. Everybody, welcome back to another awesome episode. I went to go see The Avengers for the second time this week. Just freaking amazing that movie cannot get stale at any point because it is that good uh for those of you out there who haven't seen my review i really recommend you guys to go on ahead and check it out and uh, i really suggest you guys to go on ahead and see the movie because it is that damn good uh everything in between including what happens during the uh, the spoilers at the end of the credits and whatnot so just a very fantastic time the weather has been getting exceptionally well and uh the summer is almost here everybody i really hope you guys uh plan your summer very well uh for the first time in a long time i'm actually actually going to have a good summer this year because I spent my last three summers just working and working and working and it's just been like slave labor repeatedly so uh before we get into this everybody I really I really hope you guys are going ahead and check out my second channel uh at Unreal ENT Network on there you're going to find a whole bunch of awesome stuff that you guys won't find on here including discussions and debates uh for various different topics such as you know horror movies and uh sports ESPN Dragon Ball Z so many Dragon Ball Z what if battles including subscriber battles that I've done on there which is pretty cool uh the Dying Light Survival Series, Titan Mania, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, uh, before we begin, everybody, once again, let me just go on ahead and uh, see if I can... Damn it, I don't have any fucking water around here. No! I freaking forgot my water bottle in my kitchen. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, let's begin with our first question of the week, which is from Joshua. Hey, Al, I've got some questions for you. All right, shoot. Uh, question number one, Golden Frieza versus Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Ah. Uh, question number two, what is your opinion on ISIS? Question number three, what do you expect to see in the 2018 Godzilla movie? Question number four, uh, what do you think is the most overused insult in the world? Uh, question number five, uh, can you do a Let's Play of the Mass Effect series? Because I think it would be kick-ass. All right, well, thank you, Joshua. Well, to answer your first question, Super Saiyan 4 Goku versus Golden Frieza is a very interesting fight because... Um, I, 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 I really don't know. I, I would have to say Golden Frieza just because in Revival of F he was able to combat Goku uh, and Vegeta, who especially Goku, who actually retained his godlike powers and uh, was able to combat somebody like Beerus. And we all know how Beerus would fare up if he fought Goku or anybody else. So um, for this one, I, I, I would say Golden Frieza. But I don't think this fight would be as quickly over as it was in Revival of F. Um, I do feel as if Super Saiyan 4 Goku would probably dish out all the stops. And being the fact that Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, uses the Super Dragon Fist a lot, if you guys went on ahead and saw, um, you know, Dragon Ball GT, he, he virtually used the Super Dragon Fist, you know, multiple times against Omega Shenron. And, you know, he used it against, uh, who was it, Super Android 17. So I think he would definitely use that against golden frieza um but i think golden frieza is much more ruthless and uh seeing that goku would have another transformation i think frieza would definitely go for the kill um relatively quickly rather than just try to like toy around with him um but i the only reason why i say golden frieza is because he knows in that form he's able to combat someone like goku just for the simple fact that he has that training experience and he would feel as if super saiyan 4 goku although he might be a contender to possibly wipe him off the face of the earth i think golden frieza would take the fight much more serious than super saiyan 4 goku i mean that, that that's just my opinion i could be wrong um but for this little scuffle i would have to say golden frieza would uh would win over super saiyan 4 goku maybe i mean just not by a lot though like by like a slim hair um to answer your second question what is my opinion on isis well i mean what more can i say about a group of people who behead and kill other people on beaches what more can i say about other people out there who uh love to just kill children for no reason did you guys know that isis members actually went on ahead and cut off the heads of many children in uh their respective homelands for what for what why, why are you cutting off people's heads why are you burning people to sticks why why are you why are you executing them publicly in, in front of the world why um be that as it may let's separate religion here for one second right let, let, let's separate the whole muslim christianity buddhist jewish thing going on here let's separate religion for a moment and let's look at these members as individuals these children right these children don't do anything to anybody they're roaming around they're playing they're doing what children do and you as an uh, you you as an adult are literally putting your hands on a child whether it be with a weapon such as a machete or a pistol like a handgun 
and you're deliberately causing harm to a child that never really did anything to you in the first place. So what more can I say about ISIS? ISIS deserves to burn. Um, although ISIS has a different perspective on how the world should be, and they see America as a threat. I mean, who doesn't see America as like this nation of corrupt people? I mean, we're all corrupt. There's not a single country on the face of this planet that is perfect. None. Zero. Zitch. Not a single one. There's corruption in every land. There's corruption in every government. There's corruption in every every society. There's corruption in every country. There's not one country. There's not one religion that, that that's perfect to the T. And ISIS is definitely not one of them. So I saw a video not too long ago of uh, ISIS members cutting off the heads of people on, 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 on a beach. I saw a video where uh, these ISIS members uh, literally lined up a whole bunch of people and they started blowing their brains out with like machine guns. Like that, that's, that's inhuman. How could you do that to somebody like that? That, that shit is crazy, man. Like how in the world would you be like, why would you do that? Like what, what, what would possess you to take somebody who differs from you in belief and just kill them? It's, it's fucking insane. ISIS needs to get nuked like that, that, like the only way to settle this shit is to just wipe every single ISIS member off the face of the planet completely, completely just eradicate them like exterminate them like fully although there is you know two sides to the story and of course i believe isis is being funded by a hierarchy needless to say man you just take the lives of innocent people for what for nothing and that's just horrible man it really is so that that that's just my overall generalization on isis man just a piece of shit group like why would you even why would you take the lives of people that never did anything to you in the first place? All they do is breathe. Like, is that so? Is that so disrespectful to you? I I'll never understand, man. Like, that's that goes way and beyond being normal. But uh, to answer your third question, what do I expect to see in the 2018 Godzilla movie? Well, uh, being that they're going to introduce uh, King Ghidorah and uh, Mothra and Rodan, I expect to definitely see Mothra and perhaps Rodan. I don't think we're going to get to see Ghidorah or Ghidorah, whatever you want to call him. I, I, I don't think we're going to see him like fully shown just yet. They're going to build him up somehow for the for the next film after the 2018 film because I feel as if they're going to have Mothra and Rodan. They're going to have like this showdown. And of course, uh, that's that's if they want to throw in their own American version of another, of another Muto. They're going to have like a four-way battle, Godzilla versus Amuto versus Mothra versus Rodan. And uh, somehow this this movie can be just highly exceptional when it comes to action. But I don't think Ghidorah is actually going to make an appearance. Well, I, I think he's going to make an appearance in the end. But he's not he's not going to be that overwhelming factor that, you know, he stands opposed to Godzilla. I think Godzilla and Ghidorah are going to have a flatline one-on-one battle um, during the third film. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, perhaps maybe in the 2018 film, both Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra make an appearance, and now you have Godzilla versus Ghidorah versus Rodan versus Mothra, which would be very interesting to see because Ghidorah would wipe the face of the planet off with all of them. I think I think Kid Ghidorah would actually kill Mothra. I think he would just completely kill Rodan, and I think it would come down to Godzilla versus Ghidorah. You know, and, and a lot of people complained about the first movie. Oh, there, there's not enough action. Where's the action? Where? I I understand, guys. I mean, in a lot of people's perceptions, it was shot. What the hell? Are the cops doing outside? You guys hear that shit? Fucking cops everywhere. Fucking what the hell's going on? The apocalypse. Imagine I look outside my window, it looks like a zombie apocalypse. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I think they should save savor that for you know a separate movie, having Ghidorah fight Godzilla one on one. Uh, because as we saw in other movies, you know, Ghidorah was very fucking powerful, man. He destroyed Godzilla several times. So um, what do I expect to see? I I expect to see a lot of action, and people are actually gonna stop complaining because their perceptions were shot based off of Pacific Rim. They saw Pacific Rim and they were like, oh my god, you know, this is so awesome, which it was. Um. But for Godzilla 2018, I think that um, I think they're definitely going to include more action. Mm, in terms of story, it, it, they're they're still going to keep that overall generalization of the story with Godzilla. But as of using all the characters, I'm I'm a little iffy on them using everybody. In terms of using all the monsters in one film, they're definitely going to save one. Um, but I mean that that's just what I expect to see so far. To be honest with you. Uh, to answer your fourth question, what is the most overused, oh my god, the most overused insult in the world? I think it's probably, uh, when people say, you're gay, 
It's like, what the fuck? Why are you using a homosexual reference towards somebody if they're being stupid? Because a lot of people often connect by saying uh, you're gay to something similar as if saying you're stupid. It's like saying, instead of saying you're stupid, they say you're gay. It's like, that. that's really dumb. It's like, what the fuck? That makes absolutely no sense. So that's like the most overused fucking word in the world. Uh, oh, you're, you're gay. Why, why don't you just say, yo, you're fucking stupid? Why don't you just say that shit? I mean, that, that, that's saying stupid and saying gay is like two different things. I, I think the word stupid is much more uh, insulting than saying gay. It's like, oh, you're gay. Okay. Oh, you're gay. Oh, no, you're gay. Uh, whereas opposed to somebody flat out saying, yo, you're stupid. It, that, that right there just hits like the core. It's like, what? You called me fucking stupid? You're fucking stupid. And then that, that's how brawls, you know, come about. So uh, another overused word is probably going to be the word, the word bitch. It's like everybody uses bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, a bitch in the phone, bitch. It's like, oh, God. It's like, all right, we get it. We get Why, why can't someone come up with, like, their own fucking, like, slur or, or insult that, that, that differs from, like, these common things that are just so overused? I mean, there's uh, every single insult is basically overused but I, I would have to say those two are the most overused insults ever because you hear them daily uh, pretty much almost every day um and to answer your fifth question uh as for mass effect i am I, I i don't have a problem with doing that uh but i don't know like where to start i mean i've always wanted to do mass effect 3 but a lot of people hated mass effect 3 um i don't mind jumping back on the first one even though i never played the first or second one i don't mind jumping on there either but uh just let me know which one and i'll try my best to see if i can fit that in but anyways my friend thank you for the questions and i hope you have a great day bro and now moving on to the next question which is from unlimited hey alex your wrestling channel is phenomenal and i want to watch more so on to the questions thank you man i really do appreciate that question number one crimson versus jay briscoe that's a good one question number two uh thoughts on the house of truth question number three uh if you were to fight in the house of glory heavyweight championship who would you choose to fight question four if aj styles were to join nxt would it be a good or bad thing question number five do you see house of glory on pay-per-view uh hope you're able to answer my questions and fuck cash flow yeah, damn right all right well thank you man well to answer your first question crimson versus jay briscoe um it's a good one uh jay's pretty good i i i'm a fan of the briscoe brothers um but I would say that in terms of that little scuffle, as good as Crimson is, I would have to say Jay Briscoe on that one. I, I think that would be a really cool match to see, uh, given the fact that, you know, both. I mean, I, I think both men have been underutilized for such a long time. Um, and I, I feel as if, you know, if, if these two were to have a match, I feel as if... Um, it actually would be a good thing to see. I mean, a lot of people would say, oh, Crimson sucks, this, that, and the third. This person sucks, that person sucks. Um, I, I don't think so at all. I think I think it'll be a really, 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 really good match to see. But in terms of that little scuffle, as I said, I would have to say that... Um, I, I, I would have to say Jay Briscoe would be the winner of that one, to be honest. So in terms of Crimson versus Jay Briscoe, I would have to say Jay Briscoe. Um, to answer your second question, House of Truth. Well, Ring of Honor's House of Truth with, uh, I think it's uh, Truth Martini as like their, uh, their like little manager or whatnot. I think House of Truth is pretty cool. Um, be that as it may, I only saw, honestly, I haven't seen too much of them. I saw their match with the, uh, I think it's the Flatliners, and it was a really good match. And for me, I think House of Truth definitely has something going on. Um, although I'm curious to see what else they have planned in the, in the near future. Um, for me personally, I, I can't really give you my full on opinion because I haven't really looked too much into them, but from what I've seen with the Flatliners, I think, I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty decent. So, um, who's to say that they, they can't really advance forward in the business. Um, just my opinion though, of course, uh, to answer your third question, if I were to fight for the title, who would I choose to fight? Anybody, a anybody's welcome. I don't really care who it is. For me, preferably, I would love I would love it to be the Amazing Red. Um, me and Red would I, I think that would be a very good thing. I idolize the guy. He's an extremely awesome person, extremely hard worker, um, underrated for sure. So I would have to say Amazing Red would definitely be one person that I would love to uh, knuckle up with because he definitely has a lot of you know features about him that could drive you to have an amazing phenomenal match. And and that guy is definitely one person that I would say hands-on would be him 
Um, to answer your fourth question, AJ Styles with NXT. I, I don't think it would be a bad thing. Why would it be a bad thing? Um, although I don't think it would change his career course in a sense because he is doing New Japan and stuff like that. So why would he want to, you know, leave all of that? And he's having he's having great matches in the Indies too. You know what I'm saying? So uh, for me personally, I think if he were to go to NXT. It would be really, really awesome to see him knuckle up with a person like uh, a person like Adrian Neville or Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens um, or you know Hideo Itami and stuff like that. I, I think it'd be pretty cool to see that. So I, I think it would be a good thing. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, so yeah, I, I I would have to say it, it would be a good thing, but I don't think he would stay there long. Like in terms of him advancing forward and you know, joining the main roster. I, I don't think they would do that. So I, I just think if you were to go to NXT, he would stay there. Um, and to answer your last question, do I see a house of gold on paper? Of course I do. Um, anything is possible in this business. And uh, of course, sometimes it takes a lot to get there. And I've been through the rugged. I've been through uh, many, many different, you know, ups and downs with, with House of Glory. So I, I can definitely see them going far and beyond because there are other companies out there that are excelling just as much. So um, I, I would have to say definitely, man. Definitely. I mean, indie wrestling deserves a crack at, you know, some spotlight because indie wrestling today is hosting and showcasing a lot of great stuff that people have never seen before. People haven't seen it. People don't see these things on WWE. You know what I'm saying? And, um... It's just quite sad to, to know where indie wrestling stands because it, 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 it could actually be so much bigger if allowed to, you know. So, I I don't know. For me, I would say definitely. For sure, man. Without a doubt. Uh, so, once again, Mr. Unlimited, thank you for the questions, my friend. And I hope you have a great day, bro. Now, moving on to the next question, which is from Remy. So, Unreal, I got one question and here it is. Let's do it. Question number one. I just started YouTubing about a month ago and I'm having trouble getting people to come to my channel and stay i already got over 30 videos and ever since i started i uploaded at least every 24 hours and when i see people who have zero to two videos a day they get about 20 to 2,000 subscribers it sort of makes me feel a bit sad angry jealous not good enough or overall uh just inadequate and i am competitive i'm a competitive person but not too competitive i see um is it normal to feel this way because i just hate the feeling that I don't know how to get uh, rid of, and so uh, I would think since basically have the most subs in DBZ community, uh, who has your style of a channel and videos, and since you're like my role model, I was thinking I can get some tips from a pro like you, who's been in the YouTube biz for a long time. My main focus is Dragon Ball Z, my second is Sonic and Sega, my third is other anime and stuff, uh, the rest are rather Clank and Jaxter, uh, Jaxter, uh, Clank, uh, Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Call of Duty, and games of the battle racing games like that. Uh, I've pretty much expanded my horizons and in doing what I want for the fans. So I'm in control of what I want to do and giving back to, to what I... Okay. Uh, mm, let's see. So I just advertise myself through the comments. Uh, I really need some help, Alex. I feel desperate and you are like my only hope since no one else I can really talk to about this. All right, um, so what you're saying is how to build your channel. Okay, listen to me very carefully, my friend, along with anybody else who wants to build one. When I was coming up on YouTube, right, a long time ago, back in like 2006, I didn't know shit. That was when YouTube like pretty much first started, and I didn't know nothing. I swear to God, I didn't know nothing. I made a channel called WWE Rule 5, and it was just crap. Uh, I pretty much expressed and, you know, did reviews on wrestling pay-per-views and shit like that whatever uh fast forward a couple of years later i made a youtube channel called alex animal 7 that was going to be like my little guinea pig experiment channel i was on there i did machinimas i did like little like you know parodies and stuff with a couple of old friends and we pretty much you know took it from there i met some kid named cody he told me all about you know capture cards and all these kind of things that work and i'm like all right that, that's that sounds pretty cool like what can i do here and I remember I purchased the capture card, and it was it was completely shit. It, it was the uh, Adapt Tech Game Bridge, and it was just such a crappy capture card. But I mean, it worked for the time being, right? Fast forward to 2012, I started up another channel again. I started making videos, and I was you know pretty much uh, trying to dish out everything I did on Alex Animal Seven, except revamp it in a much better way. 
and I came across Paul and me and Paul helped each other out. We learned from each other and then everything else is history. Now, for you to build your channel, right? This is what you have to do. You have to make videos that are completely different from what other people are doing, right? And what I mean by that is when I came up, I was watching people like PewDiePie, Wings of Redemption, White Boy 7 Street, Syndicate. I was watching all these guys, right? El Presador, all, all these big, big time guys. And to me, they were all doing the same thing. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Quick Scope, Quick Scope, blah, blah, blah. As cool as it was, I was like, yeah, that, that's, that's really cool. But I don't want to do that because I'm not really I, I'm not really as hardcore of a Call of Duty player as I once was when I was a kid. So I was like, you know what? Let, let me let me just go on ahead and just uh, do what I love, do the games that I love. You know, Dragon Ball Z, Battlefield, Resident Evil, uh, WWE, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Pokemon, whatever, Slender, Outlast. I, I did everything. So what I did from there was I built myself a channel that separated myself from everybody else. And granted, now, nowadays, everybody's pretty much a little different, but also a little similar in, in a way as well. So for you, it's it's all about the tags. Make sure that your videos have good tags that can correlate. For example, if I want to look up a Resident Evil video, make sure that if you're going to make a Resident Evil video that you have a tag suggested, you know, in, into where uh, a person might put into the search bar. And, and, you know, let's say, for example, your video is Resident Evil 4 ending. If I'm a regular person looking up for the ending, if I type in Resident Evil 4 ending, you might want to put that in your description. Um, well, excuse me, in your tag section. Um, but it also varies on what to do. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I suppose advertise yourself through comments, but don't be a nuisance. Don't just be like, hey, guys, what's up? I have a channel, and I want you guys to check it out. Blah, blah. That, that, that's, not, that's not really going to get you anywhere. It's going to get you a lot of people. It, it, it's going to get a lot of people to just look at you like, what the fuck are you doing? Stop, stop doing that. It, it, it's not cool. Um, you shouldn't be competitive, number one, because who the hell are you competing with? It makes no sense. If you want to be competitive, you're going to lose because look who you're going up against. You're going to, you're going up against the entire community of YouTube. That's not really, you know, very smart on you. You know what I'm saying? You don't really have direct competition. Why? You know, there's no need for you to be jealous or, you know, sad or, you know, pissed off that other people are gaining stuff that you aren't. Maybe sometimes other people work just a little harder than you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you shouldn't really feel that way because there's you're, you're not going down. You're only building yourself up. Even if you gain one subscriber a day, be happy. I remember when I first started, I was gaining like two subscribers, three subscribers a week. I was still happy. I was like, yo, man, my stuff is going up. People are watching my commentary. People think I'm funny. I, I, I love making people laugh. You know, I, I love giving my point of view, my take, my view on things. People enjoy it. I enjoy it. I mean, that's how we build a relationship. So by being by sitting there and just saying, "Oh, I'm angry and I don't know what to do." Don't 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 do that. Just continue to do it. Because eventually, you're going to get to where you want to be. It, it, like Rome wasn't built in a day. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not going to get to where you need to get to in a matter of a month or two or three or four. It's going to take shit, a years, man. I started back in like 2006, left, came back in like 2008 with Alex Animal 7, left, came back in 2012, stuck around ever since, man. 2012 2013 it took me nearly a year and a half you know to get as far as i wanted to so but for me i i i just i play what i love to play because i love the games that i play and i present them with the best of my ability and, and that's what you should do man uh maybe perhaps make videos on not only games but other things as well such as tutorials or vlogs vlog about stuff talk about current you know current events and stuff like that um but the YouTube community is completely different than what it once was. Um, with the current consoles now, you're able to uh, pretty much record off your consoles and uh, you're pretty much able to just stream it. Streaming is a very big thing too today, actually. If it were not for... Uh, if, if it were not for... What the hell was it? What the hell is it called? If, if it were not for swatting, streaming would be a lot bigger than YouTube. You know? Um, which is why I don't... I, I, I don't stream anymore. I don't really use Twitch anymore because I, I really don't want to have the cops come over and bang on my door for no fucking reason. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, tips would be to just keep doing what you're doing and reach out to a few people and just be like, hey, you know, like check my stuff out. Let me know what you guys think. Like, you know, g give me some feedback. And, and you're doing Sly Cooper, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Call of Duty. It's different. You know, it's 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 what you like to do. 
So just keep basing it off that. Don't look at what other people are ma like, you know, generating. Like, oh, this guy just gained a million subscribers. PewDiePie gains like 500,000 to like a million subscribers every fucking like what, two, three weeks? You know, like people, you shouldn't be jealous off numbers like that. I mean, it's PewDiePie, you know? So uh, just, just be grateful and be, you know, cautious of what you do and just um, build yourself from there. I mean, I, I remember uh, there was a kid named Sam Khan. He, he went off and he made his own channel and he's successful at it because he actually did his own thing. So uh, for you, my friend, just like continue to do what you do, man. Don't, don't, don't be so hard and competitive on yourself because you're not competing with anybody directly. You shouldn't be that way. Um, but if it makes you feel any better, I really hope people guys, I, I really hope people check you out. Uh, just, uh, link your stuff on this fan mail video and let's see how it goes from there, man. Just don't be so competitive. You know, there, sh there shouldn't be a reason. YouTube is meant to be fun, fun, like interact with each other, man. I interact with you guys all the time. Fan interaction videos, fan mail, everything. So, you know, playing with you guys online and stuff, it, it's fun, bro. It, it, this, this shouldn't be like life. This should not be as serious as like you know, Olympic wrestling or something like that. Like, this shouldn't be the Olympics. This is just something that we should all be having fun on rather than just beating each other across the head for no, for, for no apparent reason. So, um, but anyways, my friend, I, I really hope that helped. And I really uh, thank you for the questions and I really hope you have an amazing day, bro. Now moving on to the next question, which is from Reaper Gaming. Hey, Alex, if you're reading this, you are awesome. And hopefully you answer my questions. Question number one, Super Saiyan God Gogeta versus Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Oh, damn. Question number two, boobs or ass? Question number three, Super Sonic or Super Saiyan Goku? Question number four, what food are you thinking uh, about eating while reading this? Question number five, uh, when are you going to come back to House of Glory? You were a beast. Question number six, would you join the Bullet Club if you would that would be sweet well uh to answer your first question that would be very difficult super saiyan god gogeta versus super saiyan 4 vegeto um shit um i i really that's very hard to say because honestly super saiyan 4 vegeto would be so like freaky strong like you guys have no idea i i i firmly believe that super saiyan 4 vegeto would have no flaw in his fighting technique like this guy would literally just like show up hands-on combat and just like try to obliterate you in like in a matter of seconds so um i think god gogeta actually fares up very well because um his power cannot be sensed and of course with that rapid boost uh that would give gogeta the edge because he would be a god and uh therefore he would have pretty much virtually the same amount of abilities as Vegito, um, except different formula, di different correlation. For example, uh, the 100 times Big Bang Kamehameha is very different than the uh, ultimate final Kamehameha. So, like, you know, moves like that would actually differ. But aside from that, I would have to say probably Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, maybe? Um, just thinking of, like, multiplying their power times 4 like that is just, like, it's it's absolutely just massive on so many levels so for that little scuffle i do believe that somehow vegeto uh would be able to maintain that fight in chronological order and not lose his sense of um equilibrium because i i, I do feel like the god power would run out for uh, mr gogeta of course and he also has a time limit as well don't forget that so um with that time limit in in, in motion i do believe that'll take away a lot from you know the uh, the battle so i i think for this one i think it'll be super saiyan 4 Vegito. Um, to answer your second question, I'm an ass man. Bam, bam. Yeah, I'm an ass man. Somebody playing the Billy Gunn theme song. That's fucking amazing. Um, yeah, but I'm an I'm I'm more of an ass guy to be honest. Um, to answer your third question, Super Sonic or Super Saiyan Goku? I mean, I shouldn't even answer this. Super Saiyan Goku all the way. Like Goku uh, be between Goku and Sonic. I'm sorry, brother, but I'm going with the uh, the kid who dropped his head on Earth over the uh, the little shiny hedgehog, to be honest with you. So uh, I'll have to say Super Saiyan Goku, man. Um, to answer your fourth question, well, what I'm th what am I thinking about eating right now? Um, I'm thinking about eating some Zeppelis. Oh, that sounds real good. Some really nice and soft Zeppelis covered in sugar. Um, pizza. Ooh, like a nice a nice cheese pizza. Sounds really good right now. What else? Uh, I'm, I, I, for some reason, I'm thinking about a bacon cheeseburger with hot steamy melting cheddar cheese just dripping off of it. Now I'm fucking hungry right now. Sure. Um I, I sh I'm about to go to the pizzeria after this, man. I'm fucking starving now. Like have you guys ever just sat there and just thought about food 
and then like it just comes to you and your mouth starts watering and you start getting all fucking crazy like broly trying to eat because like you know you're fucking hungry so i i would have to say those would be my 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 particular foods that i would eat um to answer your fifth question i never left so uh and to answer your final question uh the bullet club if i could join the bullet club um i i would definitely join the bullet club like that that's without question B- 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 bullet club for life like like bullet club is amazing so um if i had an opportunity if i was able to present myself in a way where i could introduce myself uh to the bullet club i would definitely do it and uh, can you imagine that alex mason in the bullet club what the fuck man that'd be awesome like kenny omega with me and aj styles and the bucks and all that kind of stuff like that, that that's awesome i would definitely have to say hell yeah so um but anyways mr reaper thank you for the questions and i hope you have a fantastic day and once again everybody once again thank you all for watching this episode of fan mail of the week if you guys enjoyed, I'm hungry as hell. If you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit it up with a like and a favor. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe. Submit your fan mail questions for next week's episode, everybody. I'll try to get to everybody. It's incredibly impossible because I have so many messages that I get from you guys that it's just really hard to bear. And it's just like each message isn't just one question. There's like 50 questions per like person. It's just like, oh my God. So uh, I, I'll try to get to everybody. I mean, I've been doing this since i got here on youtube which has been like what a hundred and you know 50 plus weeks ago or more i don't know um it's, it's been a long time okay guys this is like my longest running series ever so uh I'll, I'll, if, if i don't get back to you next week I'll, eventually i will because there's so many people that have been sending questions and it's, it's just crazy how many questions there are there are but uh nevertheless they're still awesome you guys are still awesome stay awesome enjoy your time enjoy the weather go watch the avengers too and uh, on that note guys i will be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next episode take it easy everybody peace it's time for me to get some fucking pizza